Okay, hi everyone. Uh, meteorologist Rusty Dawkins. So we're going to talk about the hurricane. Uh, it's, there's some weird, crazy stuff that's going to be happening with this. Uh, first and foremost, it's not going to be pleasant uh, in the southeastern part of the country as we head uh, through Thursday into Friday, uh, especially Florida. Now, this is likely going to hit Florida as a Category 4. In fact, uh, here's, okay, so this is Wednesday at noon. Let's go forward here a little bit. Okay, so here we go. This is Thursday morning. This is about 9 a.m., already a Category 2. Uh, and then as we get right there, it turns into a Category 4 as it makes its way uh, into Florida. Uh, the panhandle, kind of that, that nook right there, the elbow, if you will. Interesting thing, though, that's going to be happening right here. W look at this. Now, I, I want to show you this. This is kind of kind of weird. You've got an area of low pressure here, and then, of course, the hurricane here. Now, Fujiwara, that's, that's an effect where uh, two systems kind of get close to each other, and they kind of start to interact and start swirling around each other. Think of, like, a planet, uh, or like the moon going around the Earth. But eventually, they just kind of turn into one. Now, that doesn't happen with the Earth and the, and the moon, obviously, but with low pressure systems, it does happen not often and you don't usually see it because they're not uh, like this uh, but this is what's going to happen here so let me clear that out and watch these two areas watch this area here and this area here and see what they do moving forward see how they just kind of start spinning around each other they're just starting they're starting to interact so that the low pressure from the hurricane and the low pressure coming down from the northwest start to mess with each other. That one from the northwest keeps it around. Normally, this storm goes like this, or like this, or you know, kind of wanders around and then eventually makes its way back out to sea. That's not what's going to happen. This one is going like this. It just starts getting sucked in to the west. That does not happen very often. So look at this. It just kind of goes whoop and hangs a hard left. And wait till you see the spaghetti plots for this. What happens after this? So now it's a low pressure center, a uh, low pressure system, basically in western Kentucky, northwestern Tennessee. A lot of wind, a uh, lot of rain, because this thing's going to stall out for a while. So basically everything from, say, Cincinnati uh, to Arkansas, south and east, going to see a lot of rain associated with that. So let's go. We're going to do a different thing here. This is the wind. Uh, so we'll talk about the wind, then we'll talk about a couple of uh, storm surge, a uh, couple of different things coming your way. This is the wind. Uh, the highest wind potential is right in there. And then you got the orange, you got red inside, orange, and then the weaker-ish winds. It's still 100 miles per hour, uh, but the very strong winds uh, in and around this area. So watch that. That makes landfall right there as a Category 4. Uh, big wind field around it and of course the the higher wind higher wind is going to be near the center of that and then the orangish color here you're still looking at well over 100 miles per hour and then over here your 70s your 80s your 90 mile per hour wind gusts with that so that makes it all all the way to atlanta and western carolinas tennessee before it eventually just kind of turns into that really strong low pressure center as it gets pulled to the west. So again, this is just this these storms don't last this long unless something is enhancing it. And that's exactly what this other low pressure system is doing. It is keeping it alive a little longer. This is these are the spaghetti plots that I was talking about. Really good thought process on where this is headed. Almost every model has it over here headed between Panama City and headed towards Tallahassee. Now watch what happens. Okay, it makes that turn, and that's kind of what we've been watching, right? Uh, where it gets dragged to the left, and then what happens? I mean, this is where that low pressure center from the north and west doesn't always, it, it's usually not there. So these these lines are usually going like this and like this but they're already bending that way this is the watch this <laughs> i mean they just kind of spin 
Watch. I'm gonna uh, let me let me back that up. Look at that yellow one. Circles around. The green one circles around. That pink one curves around. Then I don't know what this guy is doing down here. That, that southeast of Atlanta, north of Jacksonville. That CLP5. I don't know what that guy's thinking. But look at that. They just kind of swirl. Those th those two little pressure centers eventually merge into one and just sit there. They're cut off and they don't know what to do. Look how long that is too. Once they start to turn, which is about 1 p.m. Friday, that's 6 p.m. Saturday. That's over 24 hours that low pressure center just sits there, day and a half. Goodness sakes, so weird. Okay, storm surge. Um, let me move this around a little bit. So there's, okay, the blue is greater than one foot storm surge, yellow is three, orange is six, and then nine is really bad. That's greater than nine feet above ground for the storm surge. So you're looking at uh, Port St. Port St. Joe, East Point, uh, over towards Sop Choppy. I, I'm not from Florida, I've, never, I've been to Florida a couple of times, but I've never been in this area. Everything's east of Panama City though. And then uh, St. Mark's, west of Dowling. So everything along the, the beach here, up towards Chiefland, Cedar, Cedar Key, and down to Spring Hill. So that is this whole area right here has the best chance at seeing uh, greater than nine foot above ground, uh, at least six if not three, and then you're one. So that's that's a lot. I mean, let me let me zoom in. The, I think the worst of it is probably going to be in this area right here. So that's your St. Mark's, Sop Choppy, Horseshoe Beach, Cedar Key, uh, Yankee Town. I'm trying to zoom in close enough here so we can get some names. Carabelle, East Point, this is where it starts to kind of taper off, but still, these areas, a lot of wind, uh, tornadoes are going to be possible, I mean, it's it's a hurricane, so we're all, uh, I mean, if, if you've lived through a hurricane or have seen, been around long enough, you know exactly what that uh, what that all entails, so that's the, uh, the hurricane uh, forecast for you, which is, I mean, it's a little of hurricane and a little of Fujiwara, I mean, it's just weird what is going to happen if that in, in fact does happen, which I, I might do another one. If it looks like it's going to happen, I may do another uh, YouTube uh, as uh, we get closer and closer to that because that's just fascinating and it does not happen very often. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, hopefully this was helpful. If you live in Florida, hopefully you can escape uh, and get out of there for a while until uh, things uh, calm down and get a little bit better because this, this looks like it's going to be a bad storm. So good luck, everyone. We'll see you next time.